scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about Atta Girl Volume 2, or 80 Year Girl, as I still say in my head. I know it's not, that's what it's called, but it is important. So, 8th of March 2020 is when it was released, written by Helen Goldwyn and Louise Jameson, starring Amy Downham and Kate Copeland. This release contains adult material and may not be suitable for younger listeners. Now, here's the background. Atta Girl is a drama inspired by the real women of the Air Transport Auxiliary during World War II, from the UK and beyond. 168 female pilots, alongside the men, transported the vast range of aircraft from facilities to squadrons, sometimes flying perilous weather conditions without radios or instruments or instructions. One in ten 80-year pilots died. Following on from the first quartet of stories, the female pilots of the Air Transport Auxiliary find themselves caught up in the most historic air raids of World War II, alongside a more personal drama that ends in tragedy. Later, despite the end of the war being in sight, the battles more closely to home continue. The disappearance of a pilot remains unresolved, And there seems a terrible crime may go unpunished. Now that's from the description on the Big Finish website. So first off I need to say that this is two stories. They are interlinked and they are also interlinked with the first series. Do you need to have heard the first series to get this? No, but I would heartily recommend this to anyone. And you'd get so much more out of it and the ongoing narrative if you've heard series one. Seriously. Now, the first story in this one, it's weird because in many respects, this box set brackets box set one. These two stories, one of them happens before the events in series one and one of them happens afterwards. The first story primarily deals with characters who are new to us, mostly. And the second story deals with the characters in this first story and people from the first box set, because that one's set in 1944-45. It's post-D-Day, it's the end of the war in Europe. And remember that did finish before World War II officially ended with the surrender of Japan. But of course, that's history, and you mostly know all this. But the first story is August the 18th, 1940, which is less than, what, 11 months, 10 months after the beginning of World War II. This is when Great Britain, or Britain as it's now known, was being pummeled by the Luftwaffe relentlessly. And the hardest day is a historical event. It was one of those incredible days. Here's the synopsis for that story. 18th of August 1940, what begins as a routine ferry assignment to Kenley Airfield becomes one of the most dramatic days of World War II when a vast German raid descends upon the base, led by Commander Pauline Gower. The pilots, some familiar, some new, are tasked with saving as many aircraft as they can in a race against time, and the enemy ensues. Back at base, ambitious First Officer Henry Lloyd and war photographer Faith help the survivors during the mayhem. A horrific crime is perpetrated, and it seems the culprit may never be brought to justice. Now that one's by Helen Goldwyn. It's a cracking story, really, really well researched. The emotional content is superb and more importantly than all of this, it contains a fictional character who I truly, truly dislike. I mean, I've never hated a fictional character on such a level, ever. Perhaps it's because the stories that I normally experience are more uh, fantasy based or something like that. 
but this is well drawn, incredibly well acted. Because I'm having this sort of emotional response that, well, old ladies have to soap operas, where they just intensely dislike a character that we know isn't real, but is so awful that you just can't help yourself. You literally just want to step into the drama and shake these people or stand up to them. Yes, we've not just got, oh, and I hate these phrases, strong women left and right. What we've got is incredibly well-defined characters, really well-written, really well-drawn, and all partaking in, well, historical events. Yes, the framing mechanism I'm still not as fond of as I should be, where you've got a current or modern-day storyline running parallel, where there's a documentary being made. But I don't really want to go into that because that storyline, although it doesn't really affect the old one, it does affect the listener. And that is important. We did have that framing mechanism or something similar along those lines in series one. So I can see the point of that existing. That's the first story. The second story, Au Revoir by Louise Jameson, 1944-45. Paris has been liberated and the Allies are gaining ground at last. The ATA women, the ATA women see in the new year with the hope of peace in sight. But there are still old mysteries to be solved and painful losses to endure. Will they ever find out what happened to one of their missing pilots? And can the hard-nosed pilot Felicity repay the debt she owes? Meanwhile, a friendship between a newly engaged Rhiannon and a black Canadian pilot Gabriel creates waves of disapproval. But Rhiannon is in more danger than anyone realises. Her war has only just begun. And yes, we are dealing with the sort of thing that you do come across in other narratives. Racism and the like. But... They're dealt with so much cleanly here. Yes, the language used of the time would have been truly offensive, so they do have to skirt the lines between being true to the narrative and saying things that people just don't say anymore, and being true to the time. Does that make sense? I hope so, because they manage it in spades. It's superb. Yes, the appalling character from the first story is still there. And, you know, you can work out what's going to happen. You're not idiots listening. But it's the journey that makes it worthwhile. If you wanted to introduce audio drama to any relatives, this is a great start. Because if you're listening to stuff and they're going, what are you doing just listening to stories? I don't get it. Give them this. They'll get it immediately. Yes, there is talk of this one day being a drama on TV, but you know what? I don't care about that. What I care about is this story that's with us now, and it's just great. I can't wait for another series of this, and I hope that the true feeling, the very similitude that's needed here and is used here and is given to us continues. So heartily recommended, and thank you for Series 2. So until next time, here's the trailer. Be seeing you. From Big Finish Productions, an original drama, Attagirl. I fell from the sky today. You can't scare me anymore. Commander. David, what's wrong? A Luftwaffe attack force is heading for the airfield. A big one. Oh, Lord. We don't have long to prepare. Officer King, bring the ATA pilots here, please, as quickly as possible. And you accuse me of heartlessness? This is no time for photographs. Well, that's where you're wrong. This is exactly what the papers want. What history needs. Ha! That got you off my back! No! Oh, no! Falling! Bail out! She'll be back soon. We'll get you mended. Oh, oh, oh my mum! Oh. Of course you do. lives. We're all here doing this incredible job because of you. Yes, and isn't it wonderful you had to jump out of an airplane whilst being shot at? (laughs) (laughs) Well, that wasn't ideal. You think you can fix this? You can't repair something like this. It's all broken. You think these people will recover from this? From seeing their friends blowed up? I'm afraid I have some very bad news. Officer Lloyd. What? 
Oh, no, no. No, no. I... I was terribly fond of her. We all were. The forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. I pray that peace be now restored to the world, and that God will preserve it always. Big finish. We love stories. Hooverville has moved. The 24th of October 2020 brings with it the best Little Doctor Who convention in the world. Tickets available from the Derby Quad website. Guests announcement soon. That was the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on Spotify, iTunes, Earcast, Stitcher and wherever good podcasts are found. Get early access to content by subscribing to the Tin Dog Podcast YouTube channel. You can support the show at patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on Twitter at tin dog podcast or email tin hyphen dog at hotmail.co.uk. All of the things discussed are the intellectual property of others. No infringement is intended. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs>